go. Hey there, everyone. Mr. Hayden here. Uh, I wanted to do an update on that assignment I gave you next week with the number of uh, confirmed cases uh, in the U.S. of COVID-19 as an exponential function. So uh, I did the same thing, um, the exact same thing using the same data that I downloaded. Uh, where zero on the graph on the x-axis is uh, the number zero is January 1st and then this is April 8th I think it's day 99 um, and I got the data off of this site I downloaded it um, and then uh, in an Excel spreadsheet that looks uh, just like this and then I changed the dates so that um, day one is January 1st, 2020, and then uh, here are the dates going all the way down to the present, and here are the number of COVID cases. So then I copied and pasted this into uh, Desmos, as we have done, and that is right there. I copied and pasted, and I did my linear regression model by typing this. And this is what I have. Uh, it looks like we're still pretty close to exponential growth. Uh, we will see what happens as hopefully we're going to see a plateau. If you've heard that in the news, um, it when something plateaus, it starts going off like this. And it's no longer growing exponentially the number of cases. So hopefully that is uh, the case, I guess. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to show you that. Um, I'll probably show it to you every day now, between now and June, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, it will no longer be growing exponentially soon so we can go back to school.